welcome or wonders in one sight, eternity shut in a span, summer in winter, day in night, heaven in earth, and God in man. Great little one whose all-embracing birth brings earth to heaven, stoops heaven to earth. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. I'd like to welcome you all here this evening to our service, our Midnight Mass, as we welcome uh, Jesus Christ again to celebrate his birth. So we come now to our blessing of our crib. Dear friends, as we meet to celebrate the birth of Christ, let us pray that God will bless this crib that all who worship his Son, born of the Virgin Mary, may come to share in his life and in his glory. God, our Father, on this night, your Son, Jesus Christ, was born of Mary. For us and for our salvation, bless this crib, which we have prepared to celebrate that holy birth, may all who see it be strengthened in faith and receive the fullness of life he came to bring, who is alive and reigns forever. Amen.
who announces peace, who brings good news, who announces salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns. Listen, your sentinels lift up their voices. Together they sing for joy, for in plain sight they see the return of the Lord to Zion. Break forth together into singing, you ruins of Jerusalem. For the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm before the eyes of all the nations. And all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. This is the word of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen His glory. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory, glory to you, O Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God, and all things came into being through Him. And without Him, not one thing came into being. What has come into being in Him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, 
so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light, the true light which enlightens everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the Word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. May I speak in the Word made flesh, Jesus Christ, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Would you please be seated? Well, it is wonderful to be able to celebrate Midnight Mass. We, about a week ago, we really didn't know quite what was going to be happening. Um, but we've achieved an awful lot this week, looking at everything, working through risk assessments and everything else, and we're now here. And uh, it's wonderful also because for those of you who are regular members of this church, we have a new water frontal for the very first time up on the high altar and it's all new cloth that's up there as well. We ordered it right at the beginning of the year and finally it came a few days ago so we could celebrate Christmas with it, which is absolutely wonderful. Before I give my sermon, I've also got a Christmas present for St. Peter's. Um, for those of you who know, I, I go to Egypt an awful lot. My husband and me, we spend a lot of time in Egypt. And one of the places that I stay sometimes when I go there is St. Catherine's Monastery up in Sinai. And it's here where they have some of the world's oldest icons and I brought this from St. Catherine's Monastery and I'm going to, when I leave here from the tall pit and go up into the high altar, there's a stand up near the high altar and I'm going to put it up there but that's an icon of St. Peter from St. Catherine's Monastery and uh, it's one of my favourites because it's rather sort of looks like it's been well loved and that's what icons are about they're well loved and they're windows to look through to Christ so this will be up at the high altar so this time last year the word COVID well it just wasn't a word in our vocabulary was it we didn't know the word last Christmas the first time I actually came across it was in January, reading um, my iPad while sitting on a sunbed actually in Egypt. There suddenly it appeared in front of me as I was reading it that something was happening out in China and the word COVID came, coronavirus came into being. Just this one word has made such an impact on our lives this year and I'm sure that we all want this word to be buried, to be long forgotten. Although sadly it will go down in history 
for many of us, me included. It has made its mark, and my goodness, it will leave its mark on our lives. But tonight we are here because of another word, a word that is becoming flesh and created by God, a word of hope. In the beginning was the word, just one little word, a word that would transform everything, eternity spinning in upon itself and out again. The word was as timeless as God, timeless as a clock with no hands or no face, as endless as life itself. This word breathed forth into silence, into the darkness before the universe, before the galaxies, before the earth, the sun, the moon and the stars, before the mountains, the trees, before the sea and the snowflake. Before we walked this land, this word came forth. This word was God, the Logos, reason, thought, intelligence, and wisdom. As God's word spoke, it shattered the darkness and created all that we see. And then came humanity, me and you, created and molded in the image of God. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. And in those stories from creation, God says that it was good. It was very good. And yet what happened? What changed as one day this fragile vessel of humanity was broken and separated from God. Aren't we still a bit like Adam and Eve? In our world, many are hungry, many are homeless, many are filled with hatred towards others, many are enslaved, many have suffered from the forces of nature, many do not have hope, many do not know love. Nation is still at war with nation, and greed is sadly still around us. When will we ever learn? But God's word, this word of relationship, still resonates through time as the Bible shows us. A promise that God will not give up on his people. It is only us who give up on God. The word continued to be heard through the prophets. It's a word, it just cannot be stopped. A word telling us to listen. A word calling us to say sorry. The word kept crying out, word upon word upon word. Holiness, righteousness and justice. The stammering, stuttering word stuck on the same sounds just like a broken old record played over and over again for a broken world. And then suddenly, very, very suddenly, there was silence. Just like when a mother is nearing the end of her pregnancy, and the child is still, still with waiting to be born. Something is changing. The word from deep within God prepares to speak, a word unlike any other word that ever fell on humanity. Tonight, something is to change. There, nestled in Mary's womb, waiting and expecting, 
is to be born the Word made flesh. Coming forth a baby's cry that signals that the Word has been made flesh. The Word coming forth in bone and in blood, in human form, vulnerable and weak, small and fragile. Wrapped up tight in the humanity of this child is a new word when those tiny hands will scoop up mud and heal the blind, whose words will make hungry ears listen and whose eyes as big as the world will gaze upon the multitude hungry for more than bread, thirsty for more than wine, longing for true communion and true relationship. The day will come when those small ears will hear the whispers of heaven and clothe them in words of awe to hear. The word came among us and became one of us. Our home is his home. This word, unable to speak a word, wrapped in, in strips of cloth, entered to the sound of angels as they sing out their joy of heaven and earth that are connected again. And this word that we, we remember tonight, while it will be tormented, it will be tempted, it will be tried and it will be tested, and we will turn our back and reject the word and leave it on a cross to die. Even death, the end of speech, could not silence him. The word still speaks. The word that was and is and is to come is with us. The word is still proclaimed. It's proclaimed in the giving of donations of food for Burnham Care and Share and the help and support given to vulnerable people. The word is still being proclaimed for those people that are delivering cooked dinners, Christmas dinners tomorrow during the day while we're maybe sitting at home enjoying ours. For those who are out shopping for others, queuing for others, for neighbours who've been kind, offering help, waving and bringing a smile. The word is still heard for technology, however much we get frustrated by it, allowing us to say the words, I love you, and giving you virtual hugs. And the word is still proclaimed in aid agencies, bringing relief as they go out into the dark places of our world. The word is in our tears and in our laughter. The word is with us in the lost and lonely places, the forgotten and the forsaken places. This word, this word is stronger than the word COVID. Much, much stronger. This word brings hope. And the word became flesh. The word is still heard and is as close. It's as close as our own breathing. The word still speaks louder than those voices who constantly chatter and think they can put the world to right. And it's still speaking. The word still speaks in eternity spinning in upon itself and out again. And in a still, small voice of this moment, the word is with us. Jesus is born. God is with us. And we behold the glory full of grace and truth. 
Amen. And I can hear the bells going. I think they're about a minute past. I am going to go with the bells and I am going to say Happy Christmas, everybody. I wish you all a very, very happy Christmas and peaceful Christmas. Thank you. Amen. And so we stand to proclaim our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And so we sit or kneel for our prayers. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Father, in this holy night, your Son, our Saviour, was born in human flesh. Renew your church as the body of Christ. Holy God, hear our prayer. In this holy night, there was no room for your Son in the inn. Protect with your love those who have no home and all who live in poverty. Holy God, Hear our prayer. In this holy night, Mary, in the pain of labour, brought your son to birth. Hold in your hand those who are in pain or distress. Holy God, hear our prayer. In this holy night, your Christ came as a light shining in the darkness. Bring comfort to those who are sick, those who are bereaved, and all who suffer in the sadness of our world. Holy God, 
hear our prayer. In this holy night, the angels sang peace to God's people on earth. Strengthen those who work for peace and justice, both here and in all the world. Holy God, hear our prayer. In this holy night, shepherds in the field heard good tidings of joy. Give us grace to preach the gospel of Christ's redemption. Holy God, hear our prayer. In this holy night, strangers found the holy family and saw the baby lying in the manger. Bless our homes and all whom we love. Holy God, Hear our prayer. In this holy night, heaven is come down to earth, and earth is raised to heaven. Hold in your hand all those who have passed through death in the hope of your coming kingdom. Holy God, hear our prayer. In this holy night, Christians the world over celebrate Christ's birth. Open our hearts that he may be born in us today. Holy God, hear our prayer. Father, in this holy night, angels and shepherds worshipped at the manger throne. Receive the worship we offer in fellowship with Mary, Joseph and all the saints, through him who is your word made flesh, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. So we come now to lighting our Christmas candle. O Emmanuel, Christ with us, baby born of flesh and frailty, brought, born to bring us back to God, we kneel in worship and adore you, bone of our bone and flesh of our flesh, one with us in the world you have made and born to show us the way of love. Though we were a people lost in darkness, your light has shone upon us. Though we lived in a land of sorrow, your grace has rescued us. With a joyful noise, with trumpets, music and singing, we join the dance of creation to shout in praise at your coming. Let the earth cry glory. Alleluia, alleluia. Amen.
word made flesh, life of the world. In your incarnation you embraced our poverty. By your spirit may we share in your riches. Amen. Amen. So we stand for the Eucharistic. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself, made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection <coughs> and glorious ascension. We look to the coming of your kingdom, and with this bread and this cup, we make the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Lord. Great is the mystery of faith. <coughs> Holy Ghost, 
in the presence of your divine majesty. Renew us by your spirit. Inspire us by your love and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power be yours forever. When we come to receiving communion, um, communion may receive, be received in both kinds, and I will include the wafer for you. Um, the choir will come forward first and receive first, and then it will be the congregation. And as you come up, please do social distance between people, and please do sanitise your hands before you come forward and then you'll be going through the door here and back through Cornerstone back into the church. The choir will just come forward and go back to their seat.
God our Father, in this night you have made known to us again the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Confirm our faith and fix our eyes on him until the day dawns and Christ, the morning star, rises in our hearts. To him be glory both now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. So we come now to our notices and uh, I'm just going to wish all of you a very very happy and peaceful Christmas and also a huge, huge thank you. It has been quite a, a roller coaster ride this past year, uh, my first year in post here and uh, I'm quite emotional standing behind this high altar tonight. Um, yeah, I don't know if I can find the words actually, the words of God. Um, this afternoon we had three Christmas services which were absolutely amazing and I just, and tonight as well, I just give thanks to God that we are able to meet and to be together and to worship God. And also, um, I was given, um, when the communion was taking place, I was given a lovely photograph of a beautiful dog that sadly died yesterday. And you know, pets, well I've got cats, I know a lot of people have got dogs and cats, and for us, who maybe we are alone at Christmas time, they mean an awful lot to us. And you know, in Psalms it says, God save human beings, God saves animals as well. So we pray that Marla is actually at peace with God. So we worship again tomorrow morning for our Christmas Day Eucharist at 10 o'clock. And then we are closed then until Wednesday at 12.30 for our parish Eucharist. And then again on New Year's Day at 11 o'clock for our covenant service. So we come now to our blessing. May the Father who has loved the eternal Son from before the foundation of the world shed that love upon you, his children. Amen. Amen. May Christ
Christ, who by his incarnation gathered into one things earthly and heavenly, fill you with joy and peace. Amen. May the Holy Spirit, by whose overshadowing Mary became the God-bearer, give you grace to carry the good news of Christ. Amen. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you this Christmas tide and always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Proclaim the word made flesh. Glory, thanks, and praise to God. And as we leave, my thanks to Brian and to the choir um, who are singing for us.